Don't be afraid to lose the person. If you are not getting what you need or what you want out of the relationship, a friendship, a job, what are you doing? Wow. What are you doing? And if somebody's meant to be there, they will work for it and they will make it known and it'll be right. And so don't be afraid to lose the person. But that's a ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot to that's a lot to take on. That is an amazingly powerful point there. Yeah. So Because we're constantly trying to control everything yeah. to try and keep someone. Yeah. That's actually we're constantly right. doing the opposite of what you just said. Right. We're constantly trying to figure out, okay, what do I do to keep that person? Yeah. Not recognizing that you lose yourself in the other process of trying to keep that person. And then who are you? Yeah. And then you're unhappy and then you're resentful of yourself and the other person. Mm. So you you're damned. Yeah. You, you got to start start over. S- yeah. Start again and that's what I realized that like you don't need anybody. Right? You don't need a boyfriend. You don't need a girlfriend. You it's it's wonderful to have a companion and to have somebody to live your life with, but like what are they bringing to the table? And my therapist recently said to me, "What's in it for Chrissy?" Yeah. <gasps> Y'all, I, what a concept. What's in it for Chrissy? Yeah. <laughs> I never thought that way. Like I never, I never, I didn't grow up that way. I didn't think that way. I'm, it's, and it feels sort of selfish, but like, if I don't know what I want, how's anyone else going to know? Oh, for sure. A lot of lessons. That learned. is, yeah. Don't be afraid of losing someone yeah. because you might end up losing yourself yes. in the process. You will. Yeah. You will end you up will. losing yourself in the process. And then same one, you don't need anyone. No. And you're so right that we're actually not good at communicating to people what we want yeah. but we expect everyone to be mind readers oh. and figure out what we want and that's so hard because yeah. it's like if i know i like something it's like how do you feel valued right like that's such an important question because i feel we all feel valued and seen differently right like how do you feel valued and how can someone express that value to you right is a very simple thing but it can be complex if you haven't thought it through well the five love languages yes okay if i love quality time and my boyfriend happens to love get acts of service i can't love him in quality time no he wants acts of service absolutely so like no, no, there's a disconnect totally. and so it took me a minute like yeah i'm still learning yeah be very clear i'm still learning work in progress but like oh i have to do the things that that he likes yeah. you know and hopefully vice versa Correct. but that's such a simple but effective yeah. <laughs> way to you know to communicate absolutely absolutely and one thing i was saying recently was also that we have the five love languages but there are also the five fight languages it's like how people respond to fights oh, and how people argue because right. conflicts are definitely going to come up even if you master all of this even if you communicate effectively there are going to be moments but do you know how to communicate in conflict and so i believe like we all have different fight languages like we have different ways of dealing with an argument or a fight 